all honor, all glory, all praises be unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Dash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word, and all truth and sincerity, and shalom to the elect. Shalom Akim. Now, you see the title here, it says, Be spiritual, judge not on the outward, okay? Now, the main, you know, topic behind this, the main, you know, reason behind this is, uh, as highlighted there, it says, is there so-called white Hebrew Israelites, well, so-called white, etc., and the etc. is, you know, for um, these other nations, right? Like the so-called Chinese, so-called Africans, you know, which we know as the Hamites and the and, and the Moabites, but you know, um, is but the so-called okay, because in spirit they are Israelites, okay. They may look like the so-called white man, or they may look like the so-called, you know, um, Moabite, so-called Edomite, so-called. Um, or Slakia, the so-called white man, the so-called Chinese, the so-called African, right? But in spirit, these people are uh, Israelites because of the scattering, okay? And the Lord told you back in Deuteronomy that he was going to do so, okay? And we're going to go into the scriptures and show you a little bit, you know, examples. We're going to go from Acts chapter 2 but before we go to Acts chapter 2 you also have to remember that amongst our people there is a as you would say tears sown okay Matthew chapter uh, 13 and, ver and that's why we say you know a lot of these people you might think they're Jake's but really they're chocolate Edomites okay Matthew chapter 13 and verse 38 the field the field, Burke the Hell, Burke the Shai, by Shomer Kakodash. It was just at uh, 544. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tears are the children of the wicked one. Okay? And we know that's going into Esau Edom, because there's uh, three classifications of men. Okay? You got the sons of God, the sons of men which are, you know, the sons of God are Israelites, the sons of men, these are the nations, and the sons of the wicked, which is Esau Edom, okay? So Esau Edom has sown, uh, <coughs> sown, uh, uh, sown tears amongst us as well, okay? And we we fully tell you that. That's why a lot of these guys over here, they want to talk about black only Israelites, which is not feasible according to the scriptures. Okay? Because we we, we were um scattered, man. And you know, a lot of people don't have an understanding. They they say, Oh, we're all mixed, we're all mixed. No. If that was the case then, you know, hardly any of these people or you know so-called white man would be annihilated his race would be gone right but we know these so-called races in order to keep the race alive you gotta have people of that race of the same race coming together and regenerating that race okay so a majority of them yeah they went to their own race, but for the other percentage, they went off into different races, okay? Now, how hard is that to understand? You know, these people out here, they always, everybody's mixed in the world and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. And man, it's not even about that at the end of the day. Truly, to tell you the truth, it's about that spirit within that individual, okay? If he's an Israelite or not. And chiefly, if he's part of the 144. Okay? But going back into this. So the devil has sown tears amongst us. Okay? 
So you don't think that we've sown our seed amongst him as well? Meaning, you know, it's our seed. And it may uh, look like one of them, but it's not. Okay. Acts chapter 2, verse 5. And they were, and they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Okay. And you got people like Vocab that just can't get this. Okay. They just can't get the understanding of this because they're not spiritual. They're carnal individuals. It wasn't uh, given on to them because chiefly, he ain't an Israelite, first of all, man. We perceived through the spirit for over these years that, yeah, this guy's a fucking Edomite, man. You know, a paid subject. Okay. Let's go to Tobit. show you the scattering of our people Tobit chapter 13 and verse 3 confess him before the Gentiles ye children of Israel for he have scattered us among them right there you close the book okay we went amongst these people and we did what we you know mingled ourselves with them as it tells you in Psalms 106 if I'm not mistaken we get we could get that. And uh uh Salakia, verse four there declare his greatness and exalt him before all the living. Why? Because we're scattered amongst all these people. Okay? For he for he is our Lord and he is the God of uh Salakia. And he is the God, our Father, forever. And he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations among whom he have scattered us. So you see, we've been scattered amongst all these nations. Okay? And you telling me that you... You, 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 you go into a mobile neighborhood or whatever neighborhood it may be and you see some, you know, tail as they would say and she sees you and she gets attracted, right? And all of a sudden you guys get to bumping and grinding and here comes a baby, okay? And you're an Israelite, right? What do you think? Oh, is it, it's impossible? No, it, it's very possible, okay? <laughs> Ezra chapter 9 and verse uh, 2. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves. For they have taken of their... Okay, for they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people... Of those lands, yea, the hand of the princes, princesses, and rulers have been chief in this trespass. Okay, so we mingled ourselves amongst those people. We entwined ourselves, as script as I have it up here, but um, to mingle oneself to uh, Slovakia. Let me go down here to mingle oneself, you know, to occupy, to be, um, you know, undertaken, okay? I'm going to some more words here. To, to uh, as I was saying, to braid, that is, intermix, okay? So, you get the, you get the point, okay? So, we did that, okay? We mingled ourselves amongst these heathens, as the scriptures tell you. Psalm 106. And the reason why he was so uh, messed up, because when you go into uh, Deuteronomy, it tells you not to do that. Because what's going to happen is your sons and your daughters are going to leave off 
from keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Not that, oh, yeah, you know, I know there was a brother that was making some kind of, um, something had happened, but, you know, it, the, the main reason is basically we're going to leave off from these law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? And we're going to be doing the, the things that the heathens do. Okay? It tells you right here. Uh, Psalms 106, verse 35, but they were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, okay? And what? And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them, okay? So you ain't supposed to be doing that. You know, but in this time here, well, in that time, they weren't supposed to be doing that. We weren't supposed to be doing that, okay? But in this time here, you know, as you can see, the father is where the line comes through, the lineage, okay? And this is all about the elect. The elect are going to hear this word, whether they look so-called white, so-called Chinese, whatever nation they may look like, okay? They're going to hear this word to be drawn out, all right? Uh, plain and simple. Let's see if I can find the scripture here. Is it wrong here somewhere, man? It's in Deuteronomy. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 23. Slack here in one second. in Deuteronomy. description on that. Mm, nope, it's not down here for sure. Actually, no, Salakia. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse uh, 3. Neither shall thou 
uh, Slakia neither shalt thou make marriages with them, thy daughters thou shalt not give on to his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take on to thy son, for they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of Yahweh be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Okay, so this is why, and it goes on, thou art holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Okay, special and chosen people, because we're given these law, statutes, commandments. And as you can see, when you make these marriages unto these people, eventually what happens? The servant of Yahweh, Shem Yahushai, falls away. So that's why in Ezra, you know, he was um, mad because, look, what's going to happen? Eventually, they're going to fall away from keeping these law, statutes, and commandments, okay? So going back into that, you know, even though we are scattered amongst them, you know, they're still Israelites, okay? If they look like them and they have the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai within them, and they look like them, look, they're Israelites, okay? As long as that spirit within them is Israel, that's it. Jeremiah chapter 12 and verse 9. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds around the boat, the birds around the boat are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Okay, so the Lord is saying like, you know, we look different, okay? You look, you look, you don't look the same, <laughs> you know? But guess what? We're scattered, all right? We're scattered through all these uh, uh, different nations, man, okay? So you're going to have Israelites looking like these other nations, bottom line. Let's go to Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 and verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. People like vocab, you know, all these uh, different Israelites out here that are saying you got to be black only. You know, you, you being, you being uh, carnal, okay? But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Because it tells you right here, verse 14, for as many... For as many are as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Okay? So, once again, like I said, three classifications of men. But, you know, the Israelites, they're the sons. They're the sons of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Okay? Verse 16, the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of of God, okay, and when we're out there on the highways and byways, and we see an individual, you know, we don't judge on that outward appearance, we let the word do the, the, the speaking, you know, and you'll see when I eat my gets mad, you'll know Jake when he gets mad, you'll know Esau even when he gets mad, okay, so we're judging through the spirit, man, he that is spiritual judges all things. Yeah, he himself is judging no man. Why? Because we have the mind of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay. So a lot of these individuals out here want to talk about yeah, black only, black only, black only Israelites. Nah, man. That individual is clicking to him. He gets the understanding of it. More than likely, guess what? He's an Israelite. Okay. Um... Okay, that was the wrong scripture. I've done the wrong one. Sirach chapter 39, verse 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. And yeah, we use discernment to know, look, 
that's a jig, and he just don't get it, okay? And he's being a wicked ass fucking jig. Or, look, this is this is this is an Israelite right here, man. He's getting it, okay? He has he has the understanding of it. And if it's not of, then obviously we can no look. This guy's of another. He 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 ain't coming in the spirit of um. You know, Jake, he come in the spirit of Esau, man. You know? So, let's get back into this. What is that? First Samuel. I'll leave that for last. Let me get... Oops. Yeah, let me start from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17 and verse 41. And the Philistine came on and drew drawn near unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was yet a slack here for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair constance okay so when you really go into all of this david you know he looked at him and he said this guy's like tender and young man you know going into ruddy because a lot of individuals want to talk about he was white you know he, he you don't understand scriptures you don't understand the word okay so Basically, when he looked upon him, he said, man, this guy ain't no warrior status. He don't got no scars as a warrior, he, you know? And when you read into the uh, whole story, okay, you'll, you'll, you'll get the better understanding, okay? And right here, just above, and Saul armed David with his armor, okay? And when you go into that, you see, he's like, yo, I can't fit in this. I can't work with this, man. It's too too much for me. It's too big for me. Okay, and this is what um, you get for um, judging on the outward appearance. Verse 49, and David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slinged it and smote the Philistine in his, hip, in his forehead that the stone sunk in into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the to the earth okay so look that's what you get for second guessing man then even worse verse 40 51 therefore david ran and stood upon the philistine and took his sword and took his sword and drew it out of the sheet thereof and slew him and cut off his head where, uh, therewith. And when the Philistines saw that, uh, when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. So there you go. That's what you get for doing that second guessing type shit. Okay? And, you know, we keep telling you guys, look, you might be out there on the highways and byways, and you see some guy that, you know, he might be even of the elect, and he runs into the wrong camp. They want to tell him, you know, oh, you, 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 this is not for you. You know, you, you're a so-called white man. You're Esau. You eat him. You know, they're trying to cause. They're trying to cause. Uh, let me get the scripture. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Here's the point. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to wrestle judgment. And that's what you're doing when you are um, misleading our people, man. You spoke in a cause to mislead them, to make them decline, you know, to wrestle to judgment. Okay. Uh, you told me I'm white, you know. 
I can't, I can't be a part of this. Then this black only, black only, black only. You know, and only until, you know, because in the spirit of the elect, they're gonna hear this word. They're gonna be like, it's gonna click with them. But then you might have some motherfuckers, like I said, out there talking more. Oh no, this is only for blacks. So now this individual is intrigued. You know, however the Lord draws them in, right? Here's the word. He, you know, it's clicking with him, but the, here it is. These guys trying to tell him, you know, he, he ain't this. He ain't, he ain't about this. And then what happens? He finds, you know, the truth, which we, you know, have faith and belief that is here within the house of GMS, okay? This doctrine that has been taught, okay? So then he starts to realize, look, I am an Israelite, you know? It says that you can't deceive the elect. So anyways, let's go, uh, First Samuel chapter 16 and uh, 7. But Yahweh said unto Samuel, look not on his consonants, or on his height of uh, Salakia, or on the height of his statue, because I, because I have refused him, for Yahweh seeth Salakia, for Yahweh, let me say that again, Salakia, First Samuel chapter 16, verse 7, but Yahweh saith, uh, but Yahweh said, unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his statue, because I have refused him. For Yahweh seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but Yahweh looketh on the heart. Okay. So, yeah, you, you see, man, they judge us on that outward appearance, okay? But the Most High, he knows what spirit's there, you know? He knows what's the term for them. And Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has said this word for the elect, okay? Once they hear it, that's it. You know what I mean? They come to serve. So, hey, you know, like I said, let me go back to topic at hand here be spiritual judge not on the outward okay and is there gonna be um is there so called white um Hebrew Israelites etc you know meaning of people who look like these other nations as well and they're Israelites yes we were scattered amongst all these nations, man. Okay? So our seed line, our bloodline, as we know through the Father, you know, they're there. Okay? Why do you think it says Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14? The whole oikimina. Okay? Scattered everywhere, man. So with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rokakudash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word, and all truth and sincerity. And a sincere shalom to the elect. I hope you're edified. Wa Abad Shalom.